Splinter is just watching it all and he's furious. These idiots think they can ball. I'm gonna show them a thing or two. He disrobes. He's in the buff. He's freaking ripped. What the hell is going on? Scumbug is like, what is going on? Like, I got some for you later, baby. Splinter doesn't know really how to play basketball. He's just like, ninja kick you, ninja kick you, ninja kick you. His own son? Hell yeah. Ninja kick the ball out of his hands. He does like a backflip. 360 twist catches the ball then he's going for the dunk of all dunks break the goddamn hoop pulls it into pieces loses his mind and beaten donatello senseless no son of mine is gonna play basketball how dare you he picks him up he suplexes them splinter wins get fucked everyone i'm the master you guys don't got shit on me anyway here is flocked splinter <laughs> He looks, honestly, say what you will about flocking. I know some people had concerns, like, is the flock coming off? No, like, the, the flock is solid. You can rub it and play with it all day, and it's going to be fine. He looks fantastic. He has the cloth goods robe. Really get a, a good look at the flock. We're going to need Splinter to disrobe. So it, it does function. This buckle functions like a real buckle, but he has, like, the, the springy uh, material, which all belts should be made this way. Talking about you, scumbug. The first thing you're going to notice is this splinter is just freaking jacked. Most jacked splinter. He's just so ripped. And you can see one nice thing about the flock is, is like the details from the sculpt come through. Comparing him, he's really not material any different than the regular splinter. But you can just, you can see what I'm talking about where I think the flocked really adds to it. Not that this one isn't great and fantastic on its own. If that's the one you have, then, you know, that works. You don't need this one. But if you had to pick between the two, I don't see any reason not to go with the flocked. Articulation-wise, here's where you can get into some trouble with some flocked. So articulation-wise, he does do the full Townsend, and then he goes up or so. But you're, you're going to notice, and actually, let me see, can regular Splinter, is his articulation even good enough to go up high? No, his, his articulation's, well, you can really push it, right? So, like, I can, you can force it. You don't want to do that on this one. You see there where the flocked, because any time on plastic, when there's not that thin layer, it just goes, maybe you scrape some paint, but that's it. On the flocking... The flocking is just a layer over the plastic, so if you force it, if you put any of that pressure on there, you see, it's going to scuff it off. So I would say his range is limited to that unless... Could I do it for the vid? There we go. And so you can see instantly there's a cost to that, right? It shreds the shoulder. So that's where the flock is going to come off. There's not enough clearance in the joints. They'd have to, like, redesign the figure to flock it. Um... So if you're going to be doing that, you can't. You have to go through the natural limit of the joint, which is there. You can still twist it and do everything else, but anytime you're putting pressure, that flocked is going to come off, as we've seen, like because it scrapes. It just it scrapes right off. The standard single-jointed elbows, the hands. He does have not any crunch, but he has some a chest swivel, really. It's chest high. And then his... His legs, he's doing the splits all the way. He's kicking back. Again, the booty there. You can like, you have to like bend the legs. So he can technically kick back, but not the way you think because he has a rather sizable rat booty. But he can kick forward great. And then he has the single jointed knee and then the regular ankle stuff going on with his big old rat foot. But it also kind of looks like he's just like a scarred up rat. So I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. And I was talking with, you know, my friend, pardon my nerd, the He-Man battle cats, right? What, what was Panthor? Is the purple one? My brothers had him and he was flocked. And you could see the wear and tear over the years where it would like rub off or get kind of mashed. That's what flocking does. I've talked so much about flocking. What the flock? But it, it's kind of nostalgic for me. And I kind of like the look. So yeah, this is, I think, you know, the premier splinter now. And the eyes, he just looks fantastic. You could put on, if you wanted to put on this robe, look how easy 
This is why I also kind of prefer just a plastic robe or a rubber robe if you want to. But you can see already, like, any of the joint problems, they're covered up. So I don't think the flocking on this guy is an issue at all. And certainly, as an adult, probably not being rough with our toys. But one part that is an issue is, of course, the stupid rubber clasp. There's just, there's no way, you, you can't clasp it. How, how the fuck, I can't, I can't get in there and clasp it, because it requires, like... So that's the part, I don't like this rubber clasp. You, you can't, it, it doesn't, that's not how rubber works. You can't just, like, push a rubber plug into there. It, it doesn't, it doesn't work. It comes out all the time, so he's, like, open robe splinter. Here's the biggest issue you're going to have with this flocking. Here's the grab hand. I tore up the flocking. If you want to put, say... You want to put this staff in there. These, these fingers are stiff as fuck. These aren't bending. And you can kind of see, like, the flocking. So you have to, like, jam it in there. That's digging into his palm. That's digging out flock. Which, it's on the inside of the palm. So it's it, fine, seemingly. But you're scuffing up the hands. The other part, where it's even more troubling, is the bow. You can do it in this weird, crappy, like, arrow hand. That brings me to another point. I think bows are terrible. They're hard to pose with. They don't work. Like, seemingly, this is the arrow hand that he holds the arrow in because it has, like, stuff like that going on. So that's kind of fine. I, I guess you'd put it something like, something like that. I don't know. Like, it looks, it looks fine, I guess, but uh, not satisfying to me. Maybe like that, which is great. You want him to hold like a baby turtle in his arms. Also actually pretty cute. This is just, I don't know, it's a fun figure. Buyer beware putting stuff in those hands. You're gonna, you're gonna flock it up. Yeah, that is Flocked Splinter. Visually a massive upgrade. Kind of cheating with like the eye. I don't know, I, can, I don't want to dig out his other head sculpt now, but I, I just think it looks so much better. Totally worth buying. If this is the only splinter you're going to have, I think it's the one to go with. But, you know, you don't necessarily need to upgrade from this guy, because it's literally the same figure, just flocked. Um, but yeah, no concerns really with the flock being removed. Just be careful with the hands. So, in terms of a rating, I don't know. The splinter figure alone is at least like a, a solid 9. Like, you, you can get some really cool... Again, here's... That's an example of, like, the joints, where anytime there's joint rub, you're going to remove that flock. So, just the nature of the flock. I'm so tired of talking about flock. I'm done. And here we have the packaging experience on Splinter. You know the drill by now if you've seen the rest of the videos in the Wave. The bag, the slip cover. You love the green, you love the turtles. The medallion. If they truly get rid of the slipcovers, it's going to be a sad day. Though, again, as you see, the best packaging in the business, just the display. It's so awesome. Shows it all off. Splinter, the good guy leader. Mutant Rat is the philosophical and martial arts teacher. Yeah, so... This is a very pleasing packaging system. It makes me laugh. There's a whole tray and a twisty tie just for his plastic robe. He's just twisty tied in there. The one thing that's different about this packaging is the clearance. You're gonna notice the clearance is different. He's not as wedged in there because the flocking cannot take that kind of pressure, right? You can't have it like grinding and, and yanking it on stuff. The head, normally it might be wedged in there more, but it just, it comes out very smooth. Likewise, the hands, Instead of like being wedged in there and you got to pull them out of the plastic, it, it's just the tray system, so they all just cleanly come right out. So, as does all his accessories. Look, this is the quickest, cleanest unboxing ever. The only one that's properly wedged in there is the little baby turtle guy. So the contents of the packaging, what do we got? We got one hairy rat. You get one extra head sculpt with the, the white out eyes. Of course, the plastic robe one baby turtle which turtle this is we may never know the twangy bow 
three arrows, which are painted nicely. The steaming cup of tea is what I'm going to go with. And then his classic cane into a sword. His walking stick. So he has two gripping hands. The two karate chop hands. And then the two reach out and grab your hands. You get the two throwing stars. I don't know what the hell you're using the throwing stars for. I find throwing stars kind of a wasted accessory because a lot of times they can't hold them. You can't do anything with them. You lose them. You might as well skip them. This is the end of wave, what is this, wave seven, wave nine? It's a wave. It was a wave from Super 7, Scumbug, Donnie, Neutrino Zack, Wingnut, and now Flock Splinter. Solid wave, absolutely love it. Splinter's going back to playing some b-ball. Thanks for watching, folks. Like, follow, subscribe if you want to watch more, and take care of yourselves. Love you all.